welcome back to Lula's Kitchen. Today, I have a special guest. Oh, hi. <laughs> My dad, otherwise known as? Lula's dad, or Scott Riker. So, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us and for making the hike from the living room to our kitchen. Today, we'll be doing a little bit of a cook while we do a little bit of an interview. Let's start with our Hungry Talks. Chef hats. Hey. Oh, How thrilling. I really feel like we're back in the studio. I think yours is broken because your head's a bit small. Fat. Fat. <laughs> you look like the guy from Ratatouille. You look like the French chef. Today we're going to be cooking a apple crumble. First things first. Hey friends, to protect our clothes. Which is more your style? Uh, Non-aprons. Mm, I think we'll go with this one for you. That's just great. Oh, whoops, mine's fallen off. Oh, whoops, so is mine. Now that that's done, we can get on to cooking and chatting. First step is peeling the apples. So, tell us, Scott, how did you get into the career you're in now and what is the career you're in now? Okay, well my career's got two parts. I was in corporate marketing for the first 20 odd years of my career. I was general manager of marketing at NEC. Uh, and then Commonwealth Bank, ANZ Bank, Medibank Private, general manager of marketing. So most of it in finance and then in health. You know what they say about men in finance, right? That's true. I'm looking for a man in finance. Trust fund. Six Quite five, blue eyes. Six three and a half, sorry. Oh. So at Commonwealth Bank, I was the fourth largest advertiser in the country. So we were doing pretty major integrated campaigns, obviously, across all media. Uh, and I was in charge of uh, all marketing, marketing communications. So advertising above, below the line, direct marketing, uh, research, statistics, the retail stores and how they were designed and where they were and layout. Cool. Uh, and online, which was early in those days. What year is this? Uh, Pre-war. His ancient. So, uh, tell us a little bit about, like, what did you study in uni? What did you want to do? And then how did you get into that first job? So I'm old school which means I managed to get to be working uh, in top 50 companies, head of marketing for four of them in my career, without a marketing degree. Mm. I did a- It is possible. Yep. And what uni did you- Melbourne Uni. Why did you, why did you choose to go to Melbourne Uni? It was, a, it was a good university. I had the marks to do law, and, well, pretty much whatever I wanted to do. Um, and I decided, I wanted to do psychology, but then having started, I went, no, marketing is what I want to do, but I'll just um, leverage my psych to get into marketing. So... We've cut up the oats. We've hand cut up all these oats. It took us days, hours. We're back three days later. We're basically Nara Smith, um, if you guys don't know who that is. So. Go on TikTok. Search her up do and then favor. search up Hungry Talks and do yourself a second favour. I think I've added a few too many oats. What do you think? No, love oats. How does it feel to have raised such a competent chef? Oh, we love Sabrina. She's done a great job. <laughs> so, tell oh. us. <laughs> what about now I tell you about what I do? That'd be great. Oh. So, what do you uh, do? Since my youngest daughter was born, a week after, um, I run my own branded merchandise company. You mean you started your own? Pretty much, yes. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, several parts to it. Branded merchandise, basically anything with a company logo on. So coffee cups. Water bottles. Pens. Pens. Aprons. Yes. 
Tea towels. Tea towels. Jumpers, jackets, umbrellas. Teddies. Teddies. Sorry, teddies. Yes. Yep. And even condoms. So, we have 35,000 products on our website. This is uh, the range of things that we do. So, we do that for government clients, government departments, state and federal, and corporates, and small little companies as well. With Gimli, we, we look after the top end. So, we. Right. We have to taste test. Mm. It's only. I just realized I'm sick. Right. So we have about 350 local Australian suppliers and we also make a lot of things directly offshore with factories we've worked with for many years. Um, so cool. Hmm. So when we are thinking about advertising, marketing, these sectors, do you think that I do. I do. I often think that. And, What's the and you're right, that, the was thing an, that, you do? that was an insightful question because... What's the name of the thing that you do? So, in this world of advertising and um, marketing, why do you think, or do you think, that promotional um, apparel and merchandise is important still in this day and age? That's an insightful question. Um, Thanks. And too I'm many people gal. don't know about or think about promotional products and it can be to their detriment. It is one of the most cost effective things that can be done. 80% um, of people that receive promotional products are more positive about the company that gave it to them. Most keep their products for one to two years. So what I found when I was both head of marketing in corporate but also with my clients now that if you add branded merchandise to an integrated campaign, for the cost effectiveness of it, it'll go through the roof, it'll do so much better. So even in this age of social media, do you think it's still important for someone to have that physical, tangible object that they can... Well, it's critical. And the difference is that these products either stay on their desk so they're in their work environment with your brand in front of them all the time, or they're, they're wearing it. Um, it's, it's direct and it's personal. So again, if it's tied in with a campaign, the message is reinforced. We have a pot here of chopped up and shaved, shredded. That's right, chopped up apple. No, 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 what's the And word cinnamon. No, no, what's and the word you take the peel off? Peeled. These <laughs> apples have been peeled. You're and coming shot. along well. <laughs> By cooking these, we get a really soft complexity and deep flavour. So, what is some advice that you would have for students like me studying advertising or those interested in going into that marketing sector? Fun industry. Hard industry, particularly if you're an agency. Um, and agencies have come under a lot more pressure over the last 10, 20 years, but it's a good, exciting, interesting industry. Um, in doing your work, KISS principle. Sorry? KISS principle, again and again. What do you mean? KISS principle. I don't know what that is. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. Stupid. Kiss. Okay, I double this. You can all bring it back because it should be brought back. Bring it back! The companies I work with were multi billion dollars. You know, they all get terribly excited about what they think they can do from a marketing perspective. And there is, there's a lot of opportunities in marketing, but I think it gets over intellectualized, overthought over-constructed. Um, if you look at banks, the most important things for a bank's profitability is home loans. And for customers, if they get a home loan, then they should have two other products that should be sold at the same time, which is a credit card and a savings account. It was a home loan plus two, and that was the message we gave to our staff. 
simple, simple messaging. If you've got that, you've got most of their finance needs. If you do your relationship well, you should be able to talk to them about other finance needs they'll have through their... I've cut off my shelf. Get a band-aid, turn it off. Let's get back into it. So we had uh, over 1,300 branches, tens of thousands of staff. Um, you've got to keep your messaging simple. simple. What do you want? Keep it simple to you. Want your question. And we like chunky nuts in it. No, um, we don't. No, no we, we don't. Like we like fine really fine nuts. nuts. Yeah. And it also goes in creative work. It, it doesn't have to be overly thought through. Uh, an old thing that many debate is should creativity be winning awards or selling products? Which one? Should it be winning awards or selling products? You were giving us advice. Well, the other thing that I think makes a substantial difference is an integrated campaign. The more that I found, and as we researched, was the more that we did multiple avenues of the message, the more effective it was and the more cost effective it was. When a new ad is being developed, it needs to be thought about how it's going to uh, be communicated across multiple media. What would you say is your favourite source of media? Mm. Don't lie. TikToks. TikToks. So would you care to expand on maybe why? Well, I have a, a weird, um, uh, no, no, a eccentric daughter who's heavily into TikToks and has shown me... Uh, She's actually also the social media manager at Talks. And part of the reason with the TikTok is I've also got another company, which is POM, Peace of Mind, period underwear. And of course, the target market for that is reasonably young. This brand we're talking about is a period underwear business that my sister and my father started. But TikTok and social media is used quite quickly for. Well, again, because of who the target market yeah. is. And the main thing with period underwear is that we're finding the industry is, is growing at 17% a year. Um, because there's 13 billion pieces of period product that goes into landfill every year and that it has up to 800 years post-life. The problem. problem is that it's, it's all non-natural. So ours is organic cotton, organic bamboo, good designs Beautiful. and they just look like normal undies. So what we want to do is try and get girls younger, understanding, who are environmentally focused. So our whole focus has been on Instagram and TikToks because we know that's where they are getting their their opinions and are shopping from. So it's all about who's your target audience, yep. what are they watching, where are they already? And being there. So we're, we're working with influencers and we're concentrating on daily posts on those. But it's different things for different things. If I was still with one of the major banks, it would be ridiculous for me to be focusing just on that. Mm. And no one consumes just one thing, but it would be ridiculous to not consider social media and all the various avenues of it and having that as part of an integrated campaign. And I think too many big corporates and particularly um, you know, stodgies like the bank, in many ways they should stay off social media because they do it so bad. Mm. If they're going to do it, do it right. step away and just trust. So now I'm just greasing the bottom of our baking dish that we'll be using for our crumble. Fun part, putting it all together. We pop our apples and our lovely juices in. What? What? Straight away, as you've always said to me. I've always said, and I'll say it again. Just rinse as you go. I've got to sleep hearing that in my <laughs> mind for you. Tidy as you go. I know, I know. I don't I'm shut sorry, up about know. it. Like, you don't shut up I, about it. So now it's pretty as simple as can be. We've got our crumble mix here. And what's in the mix? Let me tell you. So we have one third, one third, one third butter, brown sugar, normal flour, I believe. 
That's correct. Same flour. And then, and then the hand chopped. The hand chopped walnut. And I like it because chopped. it adds a little bit of a crunch. Um, we always finish each other's sentences. sentences. We always finish each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. That's Wait, what I was going to say. Oh. Finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. So now it's as simple as layering it on top. Layer or layer? Layer. Mm -hmm. I don't know where did that statement come from? I don't know. Where did that statement Sarah Lee. Who's Sarah Lee? They used to advertise a lot, they've stopped advertising, that's why you don't know it. But Sarah Lee desserts. I would know it if they advertised well. Good. What was the other question you were asking me before during the ad break? Oh. I love ad break. So, mm. did you know, fun fact, and this is words of advice. If you're interested in advertising, advertising? Or even advertising. You should be watching the ads around you. You know, when it comes up to an ad break, Dad always used to say, watch them, right? Critique them. You know, there's what's so the many. Key message? There's so many bad ones out there. What's upset. the message I take? What's the brand? What's good? What's not? And 70 why? 70% of the ads are bad, but use it for inspiration of what are they doing wrong. How one thing changed could have made such, such a, difference. a difference. Sometimes just branding. Or there's too like, much on the message and they don't have enough time for the branding at the end. Mm. Or, or they're just too much, like a JB Hi Fi. Like a JB Hi Fi. Rah, 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 rah. You know, 70% off. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Position, and they're doing very well on the stock market as a result. Which I think was your point. That <laughs> which is what I was going right, back to. It's right. Which is why JB Hi-Fi is great. <laughs> and if you notice, when you go into JB Hi-Fi, well, you, <laughs> you, you get the same messages there. And what does it look like? Cheap. And that's not an accident. They put masking tape on the floor. And why? People go, if they can't even afford, to make the place look good, these are cheap products. How do you know this? Because I know the strategy. Yep. Are you like in the advertising market? Go yeah? into. I can't say. You shouldn't know his real name. <laughs> You'll pixelate this, right? <laughs> so now we're pretty much done with our crumble. All we gotta do is pop it in. All we gotta do is pop, pop it in, in the, the oven. oven. Let's go. And that's done. Now, all we gotta do is wait. Now that we're up to our cleanup, let's talk about the real reason we're all here, which is hungry so money. talks. So what do you think of hungry talks? Be honest. That's rubbish, what I saw. <laughs> now, don't be so honest. What do you think of hungry talks? You got the sound of crickets that we can just sort of overlay. I, I was really inspired. You I watch thought, every week, don't you? I watch every week. I think the principle of Hungry Talks is good. I think the principle of... Uh, Bench is clean. Don't work hard. Work smarter. You, you've had that tattooed since your day at university started. So I think what Hungry Talks is doing is Critical. And one of the critical parts of industry and of student development, students and industry need to be communicating more. There needs to be. And earlier on. Yes. Um, you can't just have theoretical That's learning, going. and this is the. This is the big difference I think that RMIT has. They have a and studio, why they stand out. and we go in a house where there's vacuuming. Mom, can you turn the vacuum off? Too many. When I look at my own people that came in, they come in with theory, but they haven't had any of the practical experience. And that makes the biggest difference. Talk, 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 ask questions, learn from those who are in it, have been in it. And that's where I think Hungry Talks can make a big difference. By talking to the industry leaders, you'll learn, you'll all learn a lot, but then they can also learn from you. Um, and if you look at our own situation, and particularly with POM, I've learned so much about social media marketing from you, and that's why Instagram and TikTok is such a key part of our platform and what we do. But you've given me insights into that target market, the consumers, but also the consumption of that that I have no idea on. So I learn a lot from you, have learned a lot from you, and um, that's why it's such a fun exercise. 
just like that, it's done. Look how great it looks. That is amazing. So, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Dad, for joining us in our Hungry Talks. Any time, I'll be here. <laughs> Where you live. It's been a pleasure having you. Oh, no, no, it's been my pleasure. As always. It's been my pleasure. No, no, no. It's honestly, it's been my pleasure. No, no, seriously. I hope you guys have enjoyed my cooking segment um, and learned a few things along the way and how to make a crumble. Make sure to tune in every week for more food for thought. Be. He will be, as will I. And you can find us on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. You name That'll it, right. we're on it. Thanks. Happy viewing. <laughs>